guys, welcome back. Um, I Today I want to go over my six needle embroidery machine. It's the Brother PR655. Um, when I first got it, there just was not a whole lot of stuff, videos to show how to use it. I think there's a lot more now, but, um, and I think there's a newer version of it, which probably is pretty similar um, in terms of how to thread it and how to set up the colors on the screen, which I do different, I think, than most people. So I'm gonna show you that little trick too. But um, first, I noticed yesterday I did my very first video and um, I realized it was kind of supposed to be just like practice. And then I realized later that I didn't really even introduce myself or talk about that at all. But my name is Kelly, I have a, um, embroidery business, a sewing business, and then I just started selling fabric um, online. I'm hoping to ramp that up a little bit. Um, I've got a, uh, I've got it on Etsy and that's linked below, but I'm hoping to get a uh, website up and running soon. I'm going to do that after, or work on that after this video. I've never built a website, so we'll see. Um, I like a challenge and I think you can pretty much do anything if you have instructions and thanks to YouTube, we get instructions for lots of things. So I think I can figure out the website. I've kind of started and it's kind of fun. I like it. It's not Shopify. It's like a real thing. I mean, Shopify is real, but it's different. Um, so I'm learning how to do that. But anyway, I wanted to show you real quick um, how to thread these machines, how to insert the bobbin. And then maybe look at the screen a little bit about how you assign colors. I don't assign colors, so I'll show you how I do that. So let's, um, I'm going to move the camera so you can see better. Okay, so here's my um, Brother PR655 and all of the chaos that goes around it, um, including um, watching the Pelican Brief. I don't know, we have um, HBO Max and I love the Turner Classic movies, so felt like a Pelican Brief kind of day. Um, so this is a machine I left on there, what I just did. This is just a sample that I did with the fabrics that I bought yesterday. Um, and, but I want to do some more. And so I need to change out some of my colors. So I thought I would show you how I do that. Now there is a cheater way. I don't even know that you can really call it a cheater because I think everybody does it. Um, which is just cutting the thread and then, you know, pulling it through all of these. So we're gonna do one like that and then I'll show you how to actually um, thread it when you're not doing that. Look how dusty my machine is. I don't, I only ever tie knots in the thread and pull it through. I don't ever really redo it. Um, so maybe while I'm up here, I'll uh, do a little dusting. Okay, so I wanna put in these three colors. And so I'm gonna remove the first three. And the way that you do that once it's already um, set up is you can cut the threads and then just take your new ones, put them in there, and we'll do the blue here. And then you're going to tie knots. So you don't want to do it, um, you don't want to take them and tie a knot like you're tying your shoes. Uh, I don't know if this is going to show up very well, but you grab them both together like this and then pull them through to make a knot like that. And you have to pull it pretty tight. Um, sometimes I'll pull the thread and it'll break halfway through. So you really got to Okay, I had to kind of start part of this over because my husband walked in and I cursed and I curse a lot. So, um, but I didn't want that on my YouTube channel. So I took it off. Anyway, um, so the first two are loaded up, but let's pretend like they're not. So um, pretend like there's still knots in these. And what you'll do is you'll come down here. Now the knot cannot go through the eye of the needle. So you've got to pull it out of the eye of the needle and then just pull it until you get to the new color. And then once you get to the new color, you can re-thread it. And the way that you re-thread it is here on your screen. 
Um, let me close this so you know where I went. So it's this button right here. You press this button and then you go to the needle you want. So we're going to do number one. So we're going to go over there. Now my needle threader works probably only 80% of the time. I don't exactly know why, but um, sometimes I have to do it more than once, but you'll, um, you'll come over here and you'll press this button and it moves this to here. So you take your thread and you loop it around there, come up, cut your thread, and then press that button again. Now let's see if it worked this time. It did in fact work. Yeah, sometimes I have to do that twice. I don't know why. Um, and then my number three, again, some of these videos are out of order because of my interruption, but let's try number three here. So it comes out like that. You take your thread, you loop it around all those bars, bring it up, cut your thread, and press the button again. And that one worked too. Wow. Pretty impressive. Okay, let's talk about the bobbin. Okay, so the first two are loaded up, um, but I wanted to show you on the third one, and unfortunately, I don't have enough hands to do this, but um, if, if you were starting from scratch, you would... Um, go through this hole like again we're doing needle number three so we come through here we come back through here and come down then when you go through the back of here you come through the back of here you have to make sure that you're underneath this thing see how these are pulled taut to where they're over there and then literally you just follow these lines. So you pull your thread around here, you loop it around this thing, and then come down here. And then again, you have to get underneath this when you come under here, and then loop it down and around. It goes through this hole. Then it goes through the hole for number three, down through there, and then you thread the needle just like we did the other ones. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out was tension. So when you first get your machine, you're going to have to probably adjust these dials just a little bit. Um, and I wanted to share the best piece of advice I got. And it was from another video. But um, do you see how the red lines are just barely showing on all of mine? That's about where you want your tension to be. Um, you can play around with that a little bit and maybe that one's just a little bit, you know, tighter. Um, but I adjusted these to there when I first got this machine, uh, three, four years ago and I haven't touched it since. So regardless of what I'm doing, um, so about right there is where you want them. And that's the only tension dial I've ever messed with. Um, I guess these tension dials too. Um, that just spins freely. I don't know what that's for. Um, but I've never touched them. I've only messed with these and that's all I've done. So let's go down here and take a look at the bobbin. Okay, so you want your, um, always use pre-wound bobbins, first of all. You know, you're going to think that you can save money by winding them yourself or whatever. It's just better. It's always going to be better. Um, so make sure your bobbin thread comes around the back to where it's underneath, like this. And then I just hold it like that. I take this, take the bobbin case, and then you place it in there. And you pull it up, and it has to go through that slot and then pulled through there. Like that. And then you don't want it too long. And then it literally just pops back in. So now that we've got the new um, thread there, we have to be able to tell the machine what colors we want it to use. Now, I think I do this totally different than other people. 
As a matter of fact, it took me, like before this video, I spent probably 20 minutes trying to figure out how to do it the right way. Um, and I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to find it now, but I think you go here and then you have to go to this screen and you can assign like what color is on number one, what color is on number two. Now, if I had like a 15 needle machine, I might, that I hardly ever change colors on, I guess I would do it that way, but that's not how I do it. Um, the way I do it is, so like you can see, that's actually kind of a pink color and my final product was orange. Um, but let's say I want this to be that green color that's in number two, that's in the number two spot. So what I would do is I would go to sewing. Um, oh, it's already set up for number two. So let's say I want it to be the third, the blue. Um, so there's a couple different ways to do it. The way I do it is I come here. I, this is an embroidery, I mean, an applique. I don't care what colors it uses for the first two because that's my placement stitch and then that's my tack down for the three. All I care about is the satin stitch, which is the last two. If I want that to be the blue that's on number three, all I do is I switch out, it's currently on number two, I, I switch it out for number three. The machine has no idea what color, it doesn't care what color is in number two. So it doesn't really matter what color shows up there, it just matters what needle it says. And I want it to use number three, so I go here, and I and you do, this is a little confusing because if you don't press the button at the end, it doesn't work. So you press this, that looks like two thread switch. You go here, I want number two and number three to be different. And then you have to press that button again. If you don't press that button again, it won't work. Press that button and then close it. And now it's number three. Again, it's showing up red, but I don't care. I just want it to use the third needle. Um, and then I can lock and go. So, I don't know. I, I think you could probably argue that it might be easier to do it the real way, but to me, this is way easier. Um, the only time I might do it differently is if I had a whole bunch of colors, but I might do that more in the uh, software program, which I use um, in Brilliance, which I'll do some tutorials on that too, but... Anyway, so that's how I thread my machine, that's how I do the bobbin, and that's how I do the color changes. Um, and that should be enough to get you started. All right, you guys have a great day, thanks.